Hey there, Geminis, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, I think for the twin souls, it looks like it's gonna be an overcast day with a real chance of being a bit oversensitive. I'm gonna be honest with you about that. Really, the setup from the universe is the moon in Taurus that puts emotional focus really on the weeds in your soul garden. It puts focus on your ability to have faith in yourself. It also puts focus on the old, deep patterns of our lives that tend to sabotage us. This is the subconscious, which is the consciousness we have to get or go through or put it to the side to get to our highest self and the soul collective and our board of spirits. So really you're set up here emotionally to easily connect to your board of spirits, your guides up there, your walking angels, whatever you want to term those souls that are on our side. But it can go south too where you can find yourself actually not conscious of that soul connection and instead projecting your issues onto everyone else. So this is a day where people see their own issues on people and often blame other people. But you know what? I find actually talking to our viewers most of the time that the people coming to Soul Garden to watch horoscopes don't fall into those subconscious traps because they're constantly finding them out or, or at least focusing on them. Either way, today there's that emotional setup. Great day for meditation. But what is also kind of triggering or lighting fuses is today the sun is dead conjunct Pluto and Mars is retrograde ruled by Uranus. Now the Sun-Pluto conjunction, which is in the house of marriages for you, really today officially marks the end of an era. Think of you, Gemini, 12 years ago. Think of you in 1995 and think back to the way you looked at marriage, the way you looked at relationships and what marriage should be or how to, con how to operate within a marriage. Well, technically that old Gemini is dead today. Sun conjunct Pluto means we shed our snake skin of that old us and we move forward as Pluto moves into Capricorn. Technically the transit's over in late January, but I think today we are over in it in our hearts. Then Mars retrograde rolled by Uranus. <laughs> that looks like the universe is letting off a little bit of steam that's centered around your self-esteem or money issue. So that's an also an area where you might be triggered. Just pay attention to it and try not to react, okay? <laughs> that's my best advice. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow for the weekend forecast. Love, love, be. So God.